Hello there, and welcome back to Jank to Rank. Last time we left off, um, it was a bit, a bit backwards and forwards, actually, the games we had. I think we had like, some good Baron games. kind of kept me in the game. Um, yeah. Some interesting wheel slices. Yes. Like with the effect monsters and some interesting choices um, in, in that regard. I lost quite badly in the final game as I break hard. Well, you know, if you're um, going to build a wall, that's what happens. <laughs> Exactly, a great wall of normal monsters. <laughs> um, so yeah, still climbing my own, climbing my way over this wall. But in the wheel last time out, it gave us the choice of a what well, gave me a quick play spell. And uh, Jose, I think you used your respin, didn't you? I did. I used my respin from I can't remember what it was, but it went to a effect monster seven or more stars. Okay, so I'll reveal that the quick play spell I picked up was Forbidden Droplet. Yep, that's a good. <laughs> that's a good one. I was aged to chop his pants. That's that's a good one. I don't like it, but it's a good one. <laughs> what will you be getting rid of for? I'm gonna get rid of Chrysalis Lava. I don't know what you got against those Chrysalis monsters. They're shit. Yeah, and? <laughs> <laughs> May do. I think it says a lot that I'm getting rid of them and I'm keeping, like, the oppressed people and people running about. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, so for mine, the level 7 or higher effect monster, most people probably see it, I'm going to be picking up Kashtira Ogre. Lovely. Yeah, quite, quite a nice card. And I will be getting rid of... Um, I'm going to be getting rid of Ryukashin. <laughs> no, not the starter deck Kaiba staple. Yeah, I mean, I still have Baroques in my extra decks, so and now I have to rely on getting the Goddess with the Third Eye and Frenzied Panda to make it. Yeah. But Ryukashin was a level three and just not really fitting in anymore. <laughs> nah. So. Just a nice little banishing tool for my... um. Bestial. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right, I will hop upon the host here and let's right. uh, get ourselves into a game, dear boy. Let's do this. And rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Yeah, damn oh, it. And the RPS streak continues. Yeah. I'll go first. Too bad it's not re <laughs> developing into games. I've got a win. Yeah. Dual Academy. Oh, that's it. You've won now. <laughs> <laughs> All the power of Jaden Yuki. <laughs> Uh, I'll set one and set another. Double ending set, the phase. Double set. What can I draw? Ooh, interesting. I'm going to go with a set of my own and end the phase. Powerful play. Yeah, it's not the most powerful hand I'm looking at. Uh. I'll set one and end the phase. All right. I will. Hmm. Gonna normal summon the performer power friend donkey. There he is, best boy. Oh. And I will use his effect in order to normal summon the uh, performer power cheer mole from my hand. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm going to flip the stern mystic. What we got based down? Mild turkey, pressed people, and unity. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> um, unity. Right. Uh, so 2k defenders, basically. For pressed people, is 2k, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, they're both 2k. Right. And unity has the ability to potentially make one of them a 4k defender. <laughs> Well, I'm not attacking into that. <laughs> I'll set another phase. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... We're going to tribute the Stern Mystic and the Perform Power Cheer Mole for everyone's favourite. Big Koala. Big Koala. Uh, we're going to go to battle, and I'm going to attack the card that I don't know. Ah. People running about. Uh, 
Uh, well, I can't attack these turkeys and oppress people, so I'll just pass the turn. You can attack them. I can, but with unity on the field, it's uh, not worth wise. I mean, I'd be losing points if because I'd have attacked with friend donkey anyway. <laughs> this is very true. Uh, I'm a set one and then a phase. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go with a normal summon of Goblin Berg. Mm -hmm. Use his ability. Yep. And I will get out the goddess with the third eye. I was the goddess with the third leg. <laughs> I'm going to get a deadly part. Normal summon still swarm roach. How old is this team? I don't know if I want to press one. You know what? No. Yeah, that might have been wise. No one's trying that. Oh, hang on. And then I activate Fuel Academy. Oh, God. Because <laughs> there's a, just so happens to be a beast on the field. I can pop your big koala. Uh, I do have. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I was so smug with myself. <laughs> you were feeling good. I um, was honestly the solemn dual academy combo halted by a frigging Cerebus. Gonna attack oppressed people. I'll attack the other face. All right. Putin. We've gone political again. I don't know we keep we keep doing that. Oh, that's we. Right. I don't remember doing this. <laughs> uh Oh, what the frig am I going to do here? I'll grab Cyberjar. I see. <laughs> um, and how else am I going to get over Chumley there? Well, I'm surprised you didn't activate your unity. It has to be the defense of all the selective uh, defense, all the face-up monsters on the field. Ah, I did not know that. Yeah. I thought, because it's a quick play, you could activate it. You can it. still hover over it to read it, can't you? Yeah, I did, and I, I didn't realise it had to be face up. Read, Joe! It says select one monster on your side of the field. Yeah, the, the stuff after that full oh, stop. Oh, right, okay. So it wouldn't... Uh, yeah, yeah. I get it, I get it now. <laughs> I get it. I get That'd it. be the dog. Let's normal summon the Frenzied Panda. Hmm, Indeed. Uh, well, that's a very solemn warning on Frenzy Panda. Ah. And I shall destroy your big koala. Yep, sadly I don't have the... Uh... Well, let's get rid of this new set. You know what the new set is. Yeah, but it's my battle phase. And you might not get very good cards. Got a hip hippo. Got an eccentric. An eccentric. Veiler. And I got a Megalo Smasher. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> I was say, you might not get very good cards. <laughs> <laughs> that's so disappointing. I'm just lucky that one of them was Bestial Magnemut. Yeah, that's pretty lucky. And I can banish your Steel Swarm Roach. Ah, oh, my Roach. To pop him on the field. Right. Uh... Hang on. Why is this activating? Uh, that Jewel Academy again. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, what's your turn? Oh, oh, dinosaur spellcaster, fiend, beast. Oh, okay, right. So, what the hell? So, once per turn, if you activate a spell card, etc., you can affect a thousand damage to your opponent. You also happen to have a fiend on the board as well. No, I don't. If you have the monster effect. Yeah, you do. Hard to be an eccentric. No, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, am I misreading something? If you activate a monster effect, you can target face up monster you control. It gains a thousand attack, even if this card leaves the field. Wow. Well, let's activate Dual Academy and <laughs> the Steel Magnumut. Oh, for God's sake. Steel Magnumut. Uh, I will not replay the attack. That seems like a terrible <laughs> idea. And a main two. Answering the centric to get rid of Magnumut. Yeah. Um. Uh. And then I'm going to go 
Stardust. Uh, and I'll set a card. You'll move. I steal Magnum it will activate, which will let me grab Fallen of Albaz. Ah, yes, the Fallen of Albaz. I forgot you picked that up. Um, I'll set one, set two, set three, <laughs> set four. <laughs> um, I'll just go in phase. I was looking for some tidy damage that round, if you hadn't done that. Uh, I'll set a couple of cards myself. And I'll go to battle and just attempt to hit for 25. Um, I will activate negate attack. Okay. I'll send the phase then. Uh, I'll activate Call of the Haunted. Okay. And bring back Bestial Magnumut. The Magnumut. Magnumut. Activate Magnumut. Dissolving Magnumut, which will let me grab my Alexandrite Dragon. Good old Alexandrite. Freaking hell, deck. <laughs> <laughs> Why you do this to me? Take it at not giving you the cards you desire. Still a normal seven bestial mag um or bestial magnum Alexandrite Dragon. Okay. Uh and I will regret my life choices. I'll move to battle and I'll attack your face down with Magnum up. Okay. That's for Monga. Okay. Take a thousand. Or in the phase. Okay. Good card. Hmm. I'm just going to go to battle and I'll attack over Alexandrite. Yep. Or attempt to anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Main two. Uh, we'll just go to the end phase. And in the end phase. <laughs> For the love of all that is holy. Say hello to the puppy. Okay. I'll activate Forbidden Droplet. Okay. And I will what is it? I need to remind myself what that does. Uh, I can send any number of cards from my hand to the field to the graveyard. Choose that many effect monsters you control. Until the end of their turn, their attacks halved, also their effects are negated. And you okay. can't activate cards in response to that effect. Okay. So I'm going to discard Chrysalis Pantail and Yellow Luster Shield. Okay. To target Melfi Puppy and Stardust Dragon. Well, that's disappointing. Uh... I'll normal summon Fallen of Albaz. Okay. I'll activate Gravity Collapse. Mm-hmm. I can... I'll move to battle. Yeah. That's that Melfi Puppy. Activate Melfi Puppy's effect. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, my precious and puppy. And that was the Yeah. Gravity Collapse seemed like the best thing there. Yeah. I was losing it anyway. Uh, I have drawn into the beautiful Kashtira Fenrir. Lovely jubbly. I'll go to battle, uh, attack Magnum and vanish. Yep. Uh, continue the attack. Uh, end the phase. God, that Magnum's finally out of the way. <laughs> And I'm going to have to surrender because once again I have Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Dark Magician, and Summon Skull in my hand. Oh, the bricks keep bricking. 
so I'll just let you go for the game. Uh, okay, I'll go battle and attack the game. I'll also just get rid of this just for good measure. No, not the Jewel Academy. That Jewel Academy's actually helped you quite a bit in that game. It's such a fun guy, like off of Cyberjar, when there's so many different types of monsters on the field. <laughs> yeah, that cleared me out that time. I so much. <laughs> oh, right, to the wheel spin. To the wheel. Um, so, your pick first, I believe? Yes, it is. It is my pick first, and my... And you have the weapon advantage. Fly balls. It's a good position to be in. Okay. A ritual monster. Right. <laughs> I'll just go and get that magician of chaos. An effect monster one star. Okay. Will you I... be respinning either of those wedges? I will be respinning to see what I want to replace. Okay. An exceeds monster. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is a difficult choice. Do you have Zeus by any chance? I do have you Zeus, do yes. Have um, <laughs> either way, I think I will be replacing the Effect Monster 1 star with the Xyz monster. Yeah. And I will be picking up... Actually, you know what? I'm going to replace the... Ritual monster with the Xyz monster, and I will take the one star effect monster. Okay, so I get an Xyz monster. And you get an Xyz monster, yes. You feeling okay, Joe? <laughs> that's, that's awfully sporting of you. Yeah, I, I don't really have a good pick for Xyz monsters, if I'm honest. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if my picks are any better because. I can't think of one that I want, but we'll see what each of us comes up with. Okie dokie. Right, so I've got mine ready to go, and since I yeah, spun and it was I my choice, I think I'll make my announcement first. Go on then, what have we got? Um, I've picked up Tenyi Spirit Adhara. Okay, interesting. Just, yeah, I thought it would be an interesting... A nice, easy special summon, okay. Yeah, and it's a tuner as well, and I will be replacing... Hmm. I'm going to be replacing uh, Water Spirit. Okay. So it's basically replacing a tuner for a tuner. A one-star yeah. tuner for a tuner. Yeah, nice like-for-like like swap. Yeah. Um, I am going to be adding for my Xyz monster number 101, Silent on an Arc. Yeah, that's a great choice. And I'm going to get rid of Linker Bell. People at home are probably going to be screaming as to why I didn't take the XCs, but... I mean, it's very sporting of you to give us an XCs monster, because, you know... They're good, but I, I, at the moment I'm not really creating XCs monsters, because I... Yeah, I'm the same one. I feel like I've been able to on multiple occasions, but I actually haven't had the monsters to do it, so maybe this will yeah. be somewhat of a turning point. But I mean... my main deck is changing. I don't have a lot of level 4s, or I don't see a lot of level 4s at the time. <laughs> yeah. So, right. Well, uh, I'll hop on the hosty then, let's and do we'll this. Uh, get into a game. RPS. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, and the streak comes to an end. Finally. And I. Not that it makes a difference, because I'm still going to go second. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Um, I'll activate Wind Witch Ice Bell. Okay. Put her on the field. And use her to special summon Wind Witch Glass Bell. Hmm, very nice. Ice Bell activates. Yep. Giving you 500. Aha. Um, and I will... Regret my life choices. Yeah. I'll normal summon a giant orc. Oh, he's giant. <laughs> and then the phase. Okay. Huh. 
I am going to special summon Cash Tira Ogre. Tira Ogre. Yeah, I'll normal summon Gene Walk Warwolf as well. Yeah. Go to battle, Cash Tira Ogre to attack Ogre Giant Walk. Use Cash Tira's ability. Look at all five. Mill or banish I get to look at the top five and oh, yeah, uh, banish me. one five of them. I think I will banish Solemn Warning. Yep. Uh, Gene Walk Werewolf will attack and we'll get rid of Glass Bell. Uh, and that will end the phase. I'll set one and end the phase. Alright. Had worse starts, that's for sure. I'm going to normal summon out the Mighty Frenzy Panda. And we're going to go to battle. Frenzied over Ice Bell. Is that 2k wall? I bet it is. Let's attack with uh, Ogre. Let's start ripping this deck apart some more. <laughs> now I know you need the red eyes. I'm going to leave that with you. Yep. Uh, Stardust. Oh no, you do need the red eyes. Yeah, I'm going to banish red eyes. Take red eyes fusion out of the equation. Yep. And then we're going to main two. I'll just... Uh... I'll end the phase there. Oh, no surrender because I've got bricks in my hand and you've got game on board. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Ogre making a good <laughs> appearance there. Ogre putting in work early on. <laughs> He's horrible. He really is. <laughs> He's a bit of a bastard. All right, back to the wheel then. To the wheelie wheelie. Um, so you got the winner's respin, but I've got first choice. That you do. Let's see what that first choice yeah. is. So you have an option between a normal trap. Normal trap. Or. A quick play spell. That's really annoying because those are both cards that I want. <laughs> yeah, they're they're quite um, <laughs> they're quite interesting picks. Normal trap or a quick play spell. Yep. Fire off the respin. Oh no, you've got the winner's respin, haven't you? I Fuck, do. Of course you do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the right. pain of choice is still uh, yours. The pain of choice. Yeah, the painful choice. I'm going to take this now because I feel like it could come back to bite me. I'm going to take the normal trap. Taking the normal trap. Okay. Yeah. Do I want a quick play spell? I mean, every part, everything in my brain is like, yes, yes, you want a quick play spell. <laughs> I'm not going to respin. I'm going to take the quick play spell. Okay. All right. I have no idea what I'm picking up, but I'll take it. Right, I have mine picked. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you like what to... What is it that you're going for? I'm going to be going for super polymerization. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to be replacing... I my... <laughs> Go on. I'm going to be replacing regular polymerization, which is still in my deck. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, in goes Super, out comes Reg. Lovely. Um, I have got a normal trap card. Okay. And I sort of went backwards and forwards on this. I thought I knew what I wanted, then I changed my mind, and then I changed my mind again. Ooh. Uh, I have gone for Torrential Tribute. Yeah, that's a... That's... That's a card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a card. Uh, and I don't actually know what I've... Oh, yeah, I know what I've got rid of. I've gotten rid of the Arcana Force 
level seven stupid monster thing. Oh no, I haven't. No, I lied. That's complete, completely wrong. I actually don't know what I got rid of. I definitely got rid of a card. <laughs> but God knows what I've done with it. Um, because it's now all over the place. The hell have I got rid of? I'm gonna guess something terrible. Did you have another chrysalis monster? Yeah, but it wasn't what I got rid of. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've got rid of something. You got rid of something. Well, I now know I'm like at 40 cards. It must be something shit. Yeah. yeah something shitty. Right. Something, something's gone. <laughs> Let's uh, see if these new cards there. make a difference. Right, this is game two. This is game three. This is game three. Wow, yeah. I have not got out of the gates tonight. Yeah, because I think, I think it's gate. Game three. I'm gonna go second. Yeah, because you won the first RPS and then I've won two now, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I will. I'm gonna activate Ice Bell. Okay. Pop her on the board. We get Glass Bell. That's quite a little good start at that. If you had a seven to play against. Well, it locks me specifically into wind monsters. Ah, okay. So it's not as good as you might think it is. However, that's a nice symmetrical board we've got. I was going to say, enough to set your whole hand. Let's kick things off with a normal summon of the mighty Gene Warped Warwolf. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll set a card. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna activate Gongato. Mm hmm. And. I'm also going to I'm going to activate Form Power Cheermole, and I'm going to Pendulum Summon. Famous last words. <laughs> I'm going to Pendulum Summon the Mighty Sangan in defense mode. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh in defense mode. That's yeah. significantly more underwhelming. Well, you know. We did say at the beginning I might finally pendulum summon, and I have. <laughs> yeah, you've learned how to do it. Jesus I Christ. finally got there. Let's get, uh, try and get rid of the glass bell. Yeah. And we'll just end the phase there. Oh, and in the end phase, did I forget to mention Puppy? God's sake. <laughs> um, no, you know you're not. Your hatred for Puppy is completely unfounded. I hate that card. I don't know right. why. <laughs> He's a good boy. I'll move Ice Bell to attack mode. Yep. I'll move to battle and attack your Sangat. Okay, no problem. I will pick up its Sangan. I'll grab the Archmead eccentric. Yeah. I'll end the phase. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see, what can I do here? I'm going to go for another pendulum summon. <laughs> <laughs> of the Archfiend Eccentric, which actually gets a power nice. boost, which is quite good. Cool. Uh, I'll go to battle. I'll have a centric attack in over Ice Bell. Yep. And Warwolf attack your set. The witch, okay. Witch of the Black Forest. She be witching. Show me potato salad. Potato salad. Uh, I will use her to pick up. Giant orc. Oh, he's a big orc. He's a big, big boy. Uh, I'll just end the phase. I 
normal summon the giant orc. Giant orc, yep. Move the battle and attack over the war wall. It's kind of rude, but I'll allow it. End the phase. Alrighty, let's see what we can do here. Yeah. Gonna activate Archfiend Eccentric and destroy Giant Orc. Yeah, you know, we had zero defense point, right? <laughs> yeah, but Archfiend Eccentric was in the way of me specialist summoning Kastira Ogre. Of course it was, which is why I'll use Solemn Warning on Kastira Ogre. And it's why I'll use Solemn Judgment on your Solemn Warning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> solemn that. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Solemn <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll pen summon. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring out. Uh, uh, your eccentric. Yep. yep. Let's just go to battle. <laughs> what a frustrating combination of things to happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, main two. We'll end the phase. I'll surrender because I don't have any monsters. I've got Dark Magician, <laughs> United Resistance, and people running about. Oh, you could have uh, held on for another turn. <laughs> I couldn't. You would have attacked the game. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, quick, quick 3 0 this evening. No, you won the first one. I thought that was the second game. No, that was the third game. That was the third game. Yeah, and yeah, I thought you won the first game. Um, no, because I've only picked up like I got the soul, I got the forbidden droplet. Yeah. And then I got the torrential tribute. Yeah, yeah, three o. Yeah. Like this is yeah, this is the. No, this is. I'm confused now. I'm properly confused with where we're at with the games and everything. I feel like I've I've missed something. This is the third game. Yeah, that was the third game, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, we need the wheel. <laughs> right back to the wheel. Back to the wheel. Let's see what is happening. So it's your pick and winner's advantage. It is yet again. Oh, I know why. It's because I've got a bloody Xyz monster. That's why I'm struggling to think. Oh, what have I got rid of? <laughs> So, you've got a choice between a fusion monster. Okay. Or. A normal monster, one to four stars. It is your pick first, isn't it? Or is it my pick? Uh, I believe it is. Uh, no, because it was your tough decision to make last time about the uh, yeah. quick play. So it's yeah, it's my on you. Pick you first, yeah. No. So I'm, Do you want a fusion monster? I'm going to be respinning. He's going for a respin. It's a quick play spell. <laughs> okay, what's getting replaced with a quick play spell? Uh, I'm going to replace the fusion monster with a quick play spell. And I'm going to and... take the quick play spell. So I get a normal monster, one to four? Yes. Okay. So... And uh, we will find out what we pick next time. Indeed. Join us then.